I think even people that didn't like this show, if you watched it all 10 episodes, you would have a greater appreciation for it. Yeah. I think, you, you know, if you took, put away your biases for, for now, I think you really would enjoy this this whole show. If you took it from episode one to 10, all your biases yeah. would be yeah. shot down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, that being said, um, now the whole season's over, we watched everything. Um, you can give it a now, later, or never. I am definitely giving it a now. Mm-hmm. What have you understand that there are gonna be some times when you're watching it if you're starting from the beginning where you're not gonna be excited to watch the next episode because you're worried about the drama that's coming up. But the actual show, the enjoyment of watching it will be through the roof. But you're gonna be worried because you, you do care about those characters. They have yeah. done a good job developing the characters and uh Giving them their own arcs. These are unfinished arcs, but they get their own arcs each individual. And each, yeah. Uh, each. Yeah. and I think if you take some time, this is a show that you could definitely get hooked on. Uh, I was honestly when I first heard, it, I was like, "This is a terrible idea, terrible." Yeah. And Same. I have changed myself. I changed 180 degrees. This is a great show. I am mad that season two is not already out. I want next week for season two to come out. <laughs> I'm glad they, you know, they greenlighted it, but I, I need it to come out. It better not wait till like it better be like October season two. I need it October. Yeah, that that, that would be nice. But yeah, I, I'm right there with you with with now. Um, I, I think one thing we did. I mean, we got good views when we compared the old with the new. Um, but now by the end of the season, you really can't compare these these characters to the old fresh prince characters like they are only the same by name like everything else is is very much different you know i mean you get certain vibes at times of of the characters but i mean carlton's completely different even will is very different jazz hillary all all of them are are different but you still get the same kind of vibe from it but they 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 made this world they're like cool here you kind of know what the general idea is but we're going to tell a different story and i kind of not kind of i do really like the story that they're telling it's loosely based on what we've had before with fresh pets fresh, yeah it's not the same story and but i think i'm glad it because it goes back to certain points in the fresh press that you see you've seen so it goes back to those things without giving you the same you know drawn out story I think that's mm-hmm. important. I think that's why it's going to be able to stand those on two feet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, which is why a lot, a lot of big points were were hit, like in season one. Like, we didn't think this was going to happen. There's other stuff with, uh, um, you know, people questioning Carlton's, like, blackness, you know, was was really, really early on, you know, and and a, b- a bunch of other stuff. I mean, there's still other parts they're, they're definitely going to get into later on in different seasons. But for the most part, a lot of the big ones that people remember were really hit on in the season, which I, I was kind of like worried, but it makes sense because if you can hit on the big points and still hit on some later, but still make your own story, you know, I think that's how you do it because we don't want I don't want a, a rinse you know, or not, it's just like repeat, you know, like we yeah, have Fresh, fresh Prince. Repeat. I don't need yeah. a new Fresh Prince. You know, I don't need a new Fresh Prince. I This is a, a good take on the same idea while making it its own at the same time. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's, yeah. No, I mean, it is. I mean, it takes into 2020, the 2020 uh, timeline changes things. Mm-hmm. You know, people don't fight anymore. People are pull out guns. That's real. Yeah, yeah. You know, kids are stupid. That's all the time, no matter what. You know, that's they're gonna do stupid things and immature things. That's part of what growing up is. I think that this is a a good way to introduce those type of things without telling the same exact story, but also by but still by paying homage to what it came from. Uh, yeah. and I, I'm glad they do the, that the right way. Yeah, I say I, this. I, I say you see Alfonso Ribeiro before you see Will Smith in, in one of these episodes. <laughs> especially now, <laughs> especially now. Um, yeah, which 
which I'm 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 for that. I mean, we already saw uh you know old at Viv. You know, I want to see. I want I want to see more. You know. I don't know if we talked about it, but did you see one of the paintings from episode nine? One of the paintings that uh, the old Aunt Viv saw. That was that was Uncle Phil. That was yeah. the old Uncle Phil. You saw like he was a little bit bigger, you know, kind of the silhouette. Out, yeah, James Avery. Yeah, it was amazing. James Avery. I'm oh. like, oh, it's good callback. Good callback. You know, that was like really well done. You know, um, and you know for sure he would have wanted to be somewhere in the show for sure. You know, he would have been one of maybe the, the uh, with one of the alphas. I could see him yeah. being one of those, something like that. Same thing. I think my um um Alfonso might be one of, might be that too. You know, you know, he might come back and be one of the alphas. That might help Carlton really connect with mm. blackness again, and know mm-hmm. that's okay to be who he is. Yeah, I think I could see him coming as ever a recruiter, a lacrosse recruiter. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, a black lacrosse recruiter, and letting them know it's okay to be who you are and still be black. Yeah, yeah, I mean that'd be good. So, but yeah, yeah, we, we're definitely not gonna see Will Smith in the show anytime soon. Um, <laughs> for sure, for sure. 